Hey guys, just for sweets here. Today we're gonna do another gift in a jar, and I have come up with a uh, pasta salad in a jar, and um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt to do this in. Uh, I'm trying to look here. A half gallon jar. So this is a half gallon mason jar here. Um, I'm out of my other ones, so I'm gonna try in here. If it's too big though, go ahead and move down to a quart size. Um, but we are definitely gonna try it in this bigger one and see how it works. It doesn't hurt to have a little bit of extra space up there on the top. So what we're gonna do is we are making a spicy pasta salad uh, in a jar. And um, I'm gonna show you what I have. I have a bag of uh, golden spirals and it's just the tri-colored pasta, rotini style. Um, I have some wasabi dried peas and you can either use your own dried peas or I got these at Winco in the bulk section and um, that's gonna give it a little bit of a kick. So I have some of those. Then we have some uh, real crumbled jalapeno flavored bacon. And again, if you dry your own bacon out or you have freeze dried bacon, go right ahead and do that if you want to. Um, I just picked up some items at the store today. I have uh, one container or one uh, pouch of spicy Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. We have one pouch of Nor Spring Vegetable Soup Mix. And we have our jar and we have our tag. And then we have a piece of fabric that I cut in about a three by three or four by four inch square to place on the top of our jar. And I got this at Walmart. They sell them all folded up and they're like 97 cents and you can probably do about eight jars with this, just cutting out your squares. And they're kind of pre-measured because the way they fold it up. So it works out really well. So we have that little bit of tape and I have a lollipop bag here, but feel free to use just a regular baggie or whatever you have on hand. Um, we're gonna put our bacon bits in that because those won't be boiled in the water. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up our jar. Again, another great gift for the holidays that are approaching us very quickly. I was at the store today, all I see everywhere is Halloween, Thanksgiving, and even Christmas, believe it or not. And um, I'm just so not ready. So I'm, even though I'm not ready for all this, I'm gonna get you guys ready. <laughs> Uh, so let's go ahead and start and I'm going to start with my spring vegetable mix now the reason I am using this is because I could not find dried vegetables and I like to have a little bit of vegetable in my pasta salad so we're gonna go ahead and supply them with the dried vegetables and then um, you know if someone wants to add more vegetables to their pasta salad they absolutely can but we want to kind of make it as easy as we can for them. So we are going to use this and I tried to find um, dried vegetables in the bulk section and I, I don't have a, um, I don't dehydrate vegetables and all that. So I don't have any of that on hand. So we are going to wing it today, but feel free to substitute any of those. You do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just a general idea. So we're gonna open up our spring vegetable soup mix here. And this, I read the back, it has dried carrots, leek, zucchini, onions, mushrooms, bell peppers, dill, chives, and some onion powder. So I figure, you know, that's a good mixture of dehydrated vegetables in there. So we are going to add those to the very bottom. And the reason we're doing this is because if I pour it on top of the pasta, it's all gonna drizzle down into the pasta. And I want it to have almost that, you know, that layered effect. So even though my jar is ginormous, you won't be able to see a whole lot of it, but you can see those that soup mix. Now, feel free to add two of those if you like, but I think one is enough for this pasta. Um, but, you know, like I said, you can change that up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do our wasabi peas. And I am going to measure this out. We are going to do a half a cup and see how that looks in our jar of the wasabi peas. We might even need a full cup because we're trying to take up a little bit of room. That is going to go on top of our dried vegetables because it's basically a dry vegetable itself, right? And we want everything to layer together. 
I think I'm gonna add a cup of these. Now, you can change this around and do whatever you like. I love peas, I love wasabi. And we're using jalapeno ranch and wasabi and jalapeno go together because I eat sushi and I get jalapeno in my sushi and dip it in my wasabi all the time. So I figured that was a good combination. Now that's kind of masking our vegetable soup mix, but that's okay. In fact, if we want to do one thing here, let's go ahead and put that lid on and let's shake it up and just make it all one mixture. That way the peas I mean, they're gonna overtake it anyway, but then it mixes those vegetables around a little bit. All right, so there we go. So we've done our one layer of our spring vegetable mix and our layer of wasabi dried peas. Now we are going to get our funnel back in there and we're going to add our spiral pasta. And this is what's going to make it really beautiful. Oh, you know what? This is probably the most perfect jar for this. I thought it was going to be too big, and it's not. It's beautiful. And I'm going to actually stick this in my boutique and put it for sale for uh, the holidays because, you know, people come in and they're buying, I don't know what I'm trying to grab for. They're buying teacher gifts and, you know, um, gifts for coworkers and friends, and this makes it nice and easy and fun for them. And it's, you know that it's made... Well, because it's not prepackaged from, you know, it's not already made up and bought made up and you don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf and all that. So, okay, so we are done with the funnel. That, how hard was that? That was really easy. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take that little baggie I told you and we're going to open up our bacon bits here. Remember, these are jalapeno flavored bacon bits and these are basically just dried bacon and I'm going to add approximately a third of a cup okay so it's about a third of a cup we're gonna put that in our little baggie here I think I'm actually gonna even use my little funnel because it'll make it easy and stop it, prevent it from spilling. So just take your baggie, if you can grab a hold of it. <laughs> These are lollipop bags, so it's a little bit harder, but hold that on the funnel, just like that. And then you won't be spilling your bacon everywhere. There you go. So you got your bacon in a bag. And then what I did is I was gonna put a tie on it, but I think what I'm gonna do is kind of wrap it over. So wrap it around, and we're gonna stick a piece of tape on there. And seal that together okay there we go so it's all sealed taped we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take our ranch dressing and I was actually gonna leave it in the packet but you know what I better do is I'll leave it in the packet but I'm gonna at least because you know people handle these all day long and the last thing I want to do is get somebody sick so um, I'm going to, I'm getting another one of my lollipop bags. I have so many different size bags in here. I need someone to do some organization videos for me, please. Because that's the one thing I am not good at. All right. So we're going to stick this ranch dressing into one of my lollipop bags. Again, you can use a lollipop bag or you can use a regular baggie. This actually fits perfect in the lollipop bag. It's actually the same size almost. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. I'm not gonna seal it because I just am trying to protect it and cover it up so you can see that it's in that bag. Just kind of protect it. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze that dressing and I'm gonna kind of tilt the jar and get some of that pasta down so that I can get that in the jar. And then kind of stir your pasta around it. Just get it in there like so, so it fits the way the way you want it to. Now I'm throwing pasta. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're going to kind of push that back so you can see that I kind of tilted the jar and put that inside and then flipped it back. And then all you're going to do is take your little pouch here of your spicy jalapeno bacon, and we're going to stick that right in there. 
just like that. Lift that up. And voila, you've got pasta salad in a jar. Call it suddenly salad in a jar, right? We're replicating suddenly salad. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our lid on there. And you can seal this if you want to. I don't have a sealer. And if I don't sell it, you know, shortly here, I will, I will use it for home. I'm not gonna leave it on my, um, on my shelf at the shop for very long, so. Okay, so you wanna kinda center your fabric on there. Push it down. No need to buy the fabric that they, that, you know, they sell you at, for the mason jars. You can go and buy your very own fabric and cut it. Okay, there we go. So we have our beautiful fabric on top of our, our jar with our suddenly salad inside. And then I have pre-made a tag, and you've seen my little tags. And I don't print them out on the computer. I'm, I'm not real computer savvy. I've told you that in the past. But this is called Spicy Pasta Salad. I'll probably stick a few little stickers on here. I haven't gone and searched for what I want to put on there yet. 